I'm Rob Cairns, the CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at StunningDigitalMarketing.com. I hope everybody's having a great day. In our last episode, we talked about the concerns about using services that are on rented land, SaaS services, and exporting and protecting your data. Today, I want to talk about Facebook a little bit and the issues of groups and pages. Frankly, um, Facebook is changing its model a little bit and forcing individuals to pay to play. And please remember that. We really need to look at this. This past week, Yahoo announced they are closing Yahoo groups. They will be fully shut down in December. Right now, you can't add any data to them as of uh, October 28th. Now, I won't read too much in that groups are dead. Frankly, Verizon's been selling off Yahoo properties and trying to get out of this mess of buying Yahoo that they're in. Tumblr's been sold, um, groups have been closed, Flickr's been sold, and so on. Now, why are people moving away from Facebook groups? First, many people do not like the privacy issues. Facebook's been in the media constantly about privacy. Secondly, they want to control how they communicate with their tribe or customers. I can certainly understand why. Facebook is changing the visibility of group posts as they did not, as they did with pages a long time ago. And we know that visibility is everything in marketing. So welcome to the new world of, get this, online forums. Yes, forums are back in a big way. All things old become new again. Remember records? They're back too. One of the biggest movers to online forums are tech journalists and the founder of Twit, Leo Laporte. Twit has moved to new forums called Discourse. It's really slick, frankly, and I've used them. Easy to use. A little pricey, though. They're, they start at about $100 US dollars a month. Now, you say, why would I spend that? You have more control over your forums. You can do things like export usernames, and so on. In the long run, as part of the stunningdigitalmarketing.com redesign, I'm truly thinking about adding forms to my corporate website. I'll probably go to forms that are built directly in a WordPress. There are many WordPress plugins. Years ago, I ran a forum called SimplyPress, and I didn't run and really push it back then, but I think it's time again to try it. Frankly, I'd rather have control of my tribe. Forums on your website or using a third-party site gives you a viable alternative to Facebook groups and the visibility and should be considered. The question is, do you want to keep going down the Facebook rabbit hole or do you want more control of your community and tribe? You really need to think about this and how you want to do business. The big question from a privacy standpoint is, who do you trust more? Really think long and hard about this one. The next question is, who would benefit and what would benefit my brand or business more? That said, you probably don't want to get rid of your Facebook business page. You need it, frankly, to run ads and to have access to the ad manager. So having some kind of Facebook presence is good, but I wouldn't want to put all my eggs in one basket. The only way you control your business and community is take control of it and not leave everything on Facebook. Personally, I think leaving everything there is a risky and a very bad idea. So I suggest you, the business owner, or the organization, think long and hard about this one. Take some time, do some research, and think about what works for you in the short term and the long term. I hope you've, I've given you some thoughts to how to protect your business and think about some viable options to just using Facebook and think hard. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Thanks for listening, and I love you all. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for listening to the SDM Business Marketing WordPress Podcast. The show is hosted by Robert Cairns, the CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at StunningDigitalMarketing.com. This podcast comes out every week. It's available on all podcast platforms. If you'd like to be a guest on this podcast, please email us at podcast at StunningDigitalMarketing.com. If you'd like to find out more about the digital marketing services we provide, please go to StunningDigitalMarketing.com. This podcast is dedicated to Robert's late father, Bruce Cairns. Have an amazing week. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Make your business succeed.